In this video we're going to talk real quickly about the filtering options. Um, if you take a look at the poll that I have loaded up right now, you'll see it's extremely complicated and it's very difficult in this 3D view to tell, for example, which um, spans and uh, head guys and so on and so forth are the particular one that I'm dealing with. <clears throat> so I can filter my 3D view so that I can see just certain parts of it relatively easily. First of all, let's look in the schematic view. You'll see there's a double-ended slider. And if I slide it so that the range between the two sliders is a certain set of elevations, then only the spans at those elevations um, will appear. You notice as soon as I set the system so that it filters anything, a little pair of sunglasses, a little pair of shades shows up here in the upper left hand corner to indicate to me that in fact um, what I'm seeing in this 3D view is a subset um, of what's actually uh, in the whole system. And if I want to go see what's up on the top, go ahead and slide it up so I'm looking at the top range and so on and so forth. <coughs> if I click the R for reset, it'll reset and show me all of them. So I can do it by height. I can also do it by angle. So let's say I only want to see the stuff going roughly north. You see I have a little a pair of um, adjusters in the overhead view. Let me make that slightly bigger here. If I move the navy blue one, that lets me set what the range is. Okay, and this lets me set what the angle is. So I'm now seeing the stuff that goes at roughly 190 degrees, plus or minus, I'd say, 10 degrees. <coughs> and so I can slide that around and I can see the the items that are at different angles. And I can combine the two so I can say I only want to see the stuff at roughly 90 degrees, plus or minus 10 degrees, that's at the sort of 25 foot mark, 30 foot mark. And that narrows it right down. So that's fairly useful. And again, if I click R for reset, they'll reset back. Now I can also filter based on the expansion of my tree. <clears throat> so by clicking this button and putting filtering to on, and you see the filtering is now checked you'll see that whenever I compact, com, com, when I, whenever I, um, if you watch the 3D view, whenever I close up a, a branch in the tree, and we can demonstrate this by closing it all the way down to just the pole, only the things that I'm currently seeing in this tree view, when that filter button is checked, are also visible in the um, 3D view. And so that's uh, fairly useful. And of course, again, they all combine, so I want to see only the stuff that's expanded, that's at the 90 degree position, and I can do that. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, if I turn off the filtering, I don't need to re-expand the view and they all come back. So that's how you can use filtering to make it so that when you're looking at your 3D view, you can declutter it down to only the things you're interested in and easily identify those things.